talk about growth hormone mm -hmm. for a second. What are your feelings about growth hormone, both um, taking an exogenous version or doing things that may, uh, if, if it even works, of growing your own and why is growth hormone so important or not important? Yeah, uh, so in my field of, of aging research, it's, it's debated tremendously. Mm -hmm. And most of the, the debate comes from studies of, of animals. Mm -hmm. And what we find is that animals that have low levels of growth hormone live longer. So there's this- Low levels live longer. Right. Okay. But there's something that my colleagues don't appreciate. And that is a lifelong treatment of, or lifelong existence with low growth hormone. What you end up with is dwarfism. So small okay. animals- Okay due to a lack wow. of development, live long. Oh, wow. Okay. It's also, by the way, known that the smaller you are, you tend to live longer. Mm -hmm. that, and we know that from pet dogs. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had a, sure. a, a large dog, you know the problem. So the reason is that during development, uh, we're actually slowing down the clock. And you actually, the clock is changing when you're young as yeah. well. Yeah. But what, what I believe anyway, is having read thousands of papers on this topic, is that growth hormone isn't bad but it won't make you live longer. Okay. Because what, what it's doing is some benefits. It's going to yeah. improve your body's uh, metabolism. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you grow muscle. But what it's not doing is turning on the longevity genes, which is what you need to do, okay. the kind of things that I'm doing to get those active as well. Okay. So what's exciting to me is maybe you could take growth hormone, but then trick the body into thinking that it's lacking growth hormone and that you're exercising tremendously. How would you do that? Trick it? Yeah. Well, what I do it. Uh, is the, the combination of the metformin yes. uh, with the resveratrol, and there's the N NAD booster, yeah. okay. which I take. Those are the three main components. Okay. By the way, I don't recommend anybody do anything. I'm right. a PhD, not a doctor, right. but I, I feel no obligation to say what I do. The growth hormone answer, okay. Uh, my age, uh, you find a dude looking like me, that dude may have had an interest in hormone replacement. And I'm wondering your thoughts on that. So I've had people say to me, as your hormones in your body diminish, you are aging. And so for that reason, in the anti-aging movement, particularly testosterone therapy for both men and women now is a pretty highly prescribed and recommended protocol as their own levels drop. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I think that makes perfect sense to me. Okay. Um, there are two points. One is that maintain what you've lost. Okay. I think it makes perfect sense, okay. um, testosterone and growth, growth hormone. Okay. But don't think that they're going to make you live longer. That's okay. not the solution. Okay. You, I think you need to combine that with these other things that will put your body in a defensive state. Okay. Because testosterone and growth hormone, they're going to do the opposite. They're going to put your body in the growth reproduction state, okay. which is great when you're young, but it's not going to extend your lifespan. Do you believe, uh, is it a wise tale that either testosterone or the growth hormone may grow uh, organs in your body or do we not know? In other words, the heart might expand in in the, to a dangerous extent. And secondly, I'm, I just love asking you this stuff, sorry. Okay. And secondly, uh, the potentially if you were to develop cancer or a tumor that it could accelerate the speed of which the disease manifests itself in your body. Do, you, do we know? Do we have an idea? Do you have an opinion about it? Yeah. Uh, well, so we, it's debated. So there is okay. the, the, the truth is we don't actually know. Okay. But uh, I've read all the literature, and, okay. and my personal take on the science is that it's not a risk okay. to develop tumors. But if you have a tumor, then I think then you, then you get serious with your doctor, and okay. I think you, you stop this stuff. Okay. But everything I've seen is that the things that you and I do, they're not going to make things worse. Mm. But, it, but if something's detected, then we're in new territory. Mm. So for instance, NAD boosters, I take those. Mm -hmm. If you give those to mice, they have new blood vessels. It's like a super drug for athletes. Okay. They, they can run further. Okay. Uh, but it also, you don't want extra blood vessels growing in your tumor. Right? Okay. Good point. So I think that with an abundance of caution, mm. anyone who has a, a tumor, don't take these things. Okay. But it's not going to necessarily grow a tumor okay. if you don't have one already.